Hi everybody, how you doing? Today I thought we could try a couple different ways to do leaf art. We've been talking a lot about fall and at the fall time we know that leaves turn colors and they fall to the ground. So I thought, you know what? The other day we took a little walk and we went and found some leaves and I thought, well, you know what, I'm going to walk outside today around my house to see if I could find some different leaves too. So I found some big ones and littler ones. These two are kind of the same color. They're both kind of red or brown. I found this shape leaf. I found this shape of a leaf. So we're going to do a couple different art projects that you can try at home. And I was trying to think of things that are somewhat easy to find at home or using things that you might be able to find from home. And I have some, some white paper. You can use whatever color you want. But one of the things that we like to do or I like to do is to make leaf people or leaf animals. So I'm gonna try maybe using this leaf and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on it. You gotta be gentle. Mine were still a little bit wet, but I just dried them with some paper towels. So I put a little bit of glue, just a little, and I'm going to stick it on my paper. So there's one. And now I think I'm going to use, maybe I'll use this, this shaped leaf. And another thing I wanted to tell you about a leaf is if you really pick one up and you feel it, one side is kind of smooth and the other side is kind of bumpy. And I'm going to show you something different with the bumpy side after I do this art. But on the bumpy side, those are called the veins. And if you look real closely, see the little lines? Those are veins in the leaf. It's kind of like the veins we have in our skin. So I'm gonna quick glue this one down too. I can use just a little bit of, just a little bit of glue. So you don't need a lot. Less is, less is more when it comes to glue sometimes. And now I have it, on my paper and I am going to use my markers to turn these two leaves into people or animals. I'm not really sure what I want to turn them into yet but I'm gonna quick think about it and quick draw. Let me see I think I need I think this one I'm gonna turn into I think this one's going to be a person. Let's see. I'm not very good at drawing. But I try. I'm going to make some legs. That's silly. These can be the arms. I'll put some hands on it. Boy, those are big hands. Those are big hands I just made. It's okay. Make some shoes or feet. You want to see my leaf person? It's a leaf girl. If I made her with some green hair. Here's my leaf girl. Doesn't she, doesn't she look silly? That's my leaf girl. Now I think I'm going to turn this one over here into... Mm, maybe I'll turn it into a cat, being that I like cats. I need to find a different color. Okay, let's try to make a cat. We know cats have pointy ears and they have whiskers. Yeah, you look silly. And cats have long tails. You look silly. But here's my cat. Watch, it's silly. There's my cat. Look at my big brown cat. So I made a leaf girl and a leaf cat. You can turn your leaves into whatever animal or person or thing that you want. So this is one way that you can maybe turn some leaves into a pretty art picture. But now I have another thing I want to do. I'm going to try it. I have another piece of white paper and I'm going to try to use another leaf. Remember I was telling you about the vein? Well, I want to feel the vein side up. And I'm gonna use some paint. And at my house, I do have some watercolor paints. 
And I'm going to use my watercolor paint. See, I have different colors. In watercolors, you use water, so you use, oops, I almost spilled my water. Water, paint, I'm trying to get some paint. And then you put it on paper, but for me today, I'm going to put it on my leaf, a little bit on my leaf, and I'm going to paint it on the veins. I'm just going to paint a little bit on the vein. So I used a little bit of green. I'm get some more green. And I'm just putting, it's hard to see, but I'm putting a little bit of green paint on there. Now I'm going to clean it. So with watercolors, you always want to clean before you touch another paint. So I'm going to do water, and now I'm going to pick another color. I think this time I'm going to pick some red. And the thing about watercolors is that they're a little bit easier to clean up. And maybe you have watercolors, but if you have regular paint at your house, kids paint or even some um, finger paints, you can use those too. Alright, so I used a little bit of red. Now I want to use a little bit of, maybe I'm going to use some purple. I like purple. You like purple? So I'm going to try some purple this time. And I'm, and I'm just painting the veins. And then I'm going to take the veins and I'm going to push it, I'm going to put veins back down on my paper and I'm going to rub it. I'm going to rub it. So you want the paint, the vein, the painted veins down on your paper. And then I'm going to rub it. See, I don't have any paint on me because the paint is down. Ooh, look it. See how I made the veins? I painted the veins and then I put it, I rubbed it down on the paper. That came out really cool. I like that. I'm going to try another leaf. This time I'm going to try this one. See this yellow one? Because it has a different shape. This time I'm going to try a different color. This time I'm going to try some blue. I'm going to try blue on one side of it. I'm going to paint the one side blue. And then I'm going to do the other side, maybe some orange. I'm trying to get my orange paint. Let's see how it looks. Again, there's paint. There's a blue and the orange, and I'm going to put it vein side down. I'm going to rub it. And I'm going to lift it up. Oh, that's pretty too. Look. And I made some blue and some orange. So you can keep trying. Like every time you rub it, you can try to paint again on it. I'll try one more time. I'll do some brown. Because there's a lot of brown leaves out right now. So I'm going to do one side brown. Need a little bit more water. And then the other side, let's try the yellow. I'm gonna try yellow this time. Cause though my leaf is yellow. And I wanna see what it looks like on the paper. And again, I'm gonna take it and put paint side down, the leaves are the, the vein side and the paint down on my paper, rub it a little bit and then lift it up. There's, this is a leaf rubbing paint. Isn't that nice? So you're welcome to try that at your house if you have some paints. Or, like I said, you can just glue some leaves and turn them into leaf people or leaf animals. Whatever you want. But whatever you make, make sure you take a picture and send it to Miss Sabrina so that we can share it with our friends. Have fun trying the leaf art. I'll see you again soon. Bye.